Hello, I'm Mark Argentiano. I'm a neurosurgeon with a private practice in the metropolitan New York area, and I'm a clinical associate professor of neurosurgery at Mount Sinai in Manhattan. In this video, I'm gonna discuss lumbar discectomy, which is the most common neurosurgical procedure that I perform. In the United States, almost half a million patients every year require a lumbar discectomy. I often use a minimally invasive approach which allows patients to leave the hospital or facility on the same day of their surgery. That, combined with my years of experience, allows me to minimize complications for my patients. Although I describe the risks of surgery in clear language, it's not always easy to understand that while under anesthesia, mere millimeters become the difference between a good outcome and a terrible complication. This type of surgery, along with many others that I perform, requires a no room for error mentality. There are multiple errors to avoid prior to the actual surgery. Improper positioning of the patient while on the operating table might result in excessive bleeding during surgery, nerve damage, or in extreme cases, too much pressure being placed in the eyes, which could cause blindness. Although it seems obvious, we make sure to properly examine the x-ray to ensure we're proceeding with the surgery only on the affected disc. The lower back has multiple bones called vertebrae and in between each vertebrae is a disc. Drilling the bones that protect the nerves and membranes is like shaving away the shell of a raw egg without spilling the whites or breaking the yolk. A steady hand and knowledge of the instrumentation is especially key here because the membranes may cause fluid leakage and headaches or even meningitis. Damaging one of these nerves can cause permanent weakness, numbness, or pain, and these surgeries are designed to relieve your ailments, not to add to them. It's while removing the herniated part of the disc that the patient is at the highest risk. If the rongeur, a biting instrument, goes a little too far, it could damage the largest blood vessels in the human body, branches of the aorta or vena cava that in turn could kill a patient. A millimeter, less than a 25th of an inch, is the difference between life and death, and we don't take this part of the procedure lightly. It's for all these reasons and more that it's impossible to be successful in neurosurgery without a no room for error mentality.